and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be looking at whether you should use Silk Touch or Fortune 3 on your picks. Um, one thing I quickly forgot. Uh, crafting table. Alright, so game mode zero. <laughs> So these are pretty much exactly the same, they both have unbreaking efficiency mending. Uh, uh, the only difference is that one's got silk touch and one's got fortune and if a vas could not pop up that would be nice. Um, so first we're going to take a look at all of the overworld doors. So um, Unlike uh, in the past, uh, iron, gold, and the copper was pretty much the same as always done this, but um, in the past, these used to just drop their uh, ores, no matter what. This bag would be used silk touch or fortune three. But now, if you use fortune three, you uh, get uh, the raw. Uh, or now the amount that you get from each block each or, or varies and it, uh, um so like you saw i just got 12 from one copper or um let's just throw that away got two that time And 10 that time. So, but the trick here, uh, but you know, they've got one gold, two iron, so let's just do iron. Got another uh, four iron out of that. Another four iron out of that. So, you, on average, you're going to get about four iron with Fortune 3. One gold again. One gold again? Am I just getting really unlucky? And then, oh. and then I got three gold out of that one. So yeah. So in my opinion, it because um hold on, I'm gonna need more gold. Because you can craft these into raw or raw blocks. Raw blocks. Um this right so this has a bit of give and take basically and you can basically just like do this with like all the blocks like diamonds you can fortune them up get a bunch of diamonds out of it you can make them into a block you get lapis Make them into blocks. Get redstone. Make them into blocks. Coal. Yeah, you basically have the idea. You can make all of these into blocks um including emeralds um but there's a big give and take here because uh you saw with raw copper that i got uh 12 from one ore that's more than one block of copper so if i if you just have silk touched that you would have saved inventory space you also have the fact that you're gonna have um a slot for the raw uh, or the slot for the um, you can have a slot for the block, you can have a slot for the um, or, or itself, um, and and copper is going to quickly fill up uh, your inventory, so you can have lots of copper blocks because again, um, you can get a lot from the ore. So, I would, um, 
and with the fact that the uh, Fortune 3 pickaxe can mend itself, I would say that in the overworld, more times than not, I'd rather have the uh, Fortune 3 pickaxe. The only times I would say that it's not as efficient as like when mining copper and lapis. Uh, I would say maybe coal and redstone aren't as... Well, I think redstone is effective, but I think coal might not be. Anyway, I did mine four blocks and get um, and only get ten, so maybe... That is, but uh, you'd, I, I'd have to, like... Well, yeah. You'd, uh, you'd have to look up the um, drop rate of each or, or and d then decide that, uh, whether or not... In your opinion, it's you know worth um, using fortune on it because um, I could just like spend ages like placing all these down and mining them up, but um, don't really have time for that today, and um, I'm a bit busy today. But um, you could do that. Um, I could do that, but that's only gonna. I don't know if that's gonna give a accurate, you know. Representation of the odds of the average amount, so you might as well you might just want to like look it up on uh, the Minecraft wiki. Just like okay, there's it, you know it can drop X amount to Y amount. So on average, I'm gonna be getting about X, Z amount of ore. So or which is and then if that and if the average amount of ore is above nine. Uh, then I'd say it's not really worth it, which I'd probably say, or at least close to nine, which I say probably isn't true for most of these except for copper, um, and maybe redstone. Now, well, actually, for it to be worth it, it would need to drop less than um nine pair or so. Yeah, it'd be very difficult for any of them to be less efficient. So I would definitely say, like at least right now with the knowledge I have, it's probably more efficient, but I can definitely see copper ore, um, if you get really lucky with copper ore, like being less efficient, or would that be lucky or not? Anyway, um, so hold on, let me just get a Just gonna put these ores in here. Now, that's the overworld. Let's talk about the never ores once I just dump all these in there. So there's only two ores in the never. We're not really gonna talk about the ancient debris because that is literally exactly the same, no matter whether you use fortune or silk touch. So we have never quartz and Never gold. Now, never gold is different to gold. In if you use fortune three, you get nuggets. Now, but if you smelt it in the furnace, you get an ingot. Um. Now, um, fortune with fortune three, you can drop more than nine nuggets. Uh, and you need nine nuggets to craft one ingot. But you saw there, I only got four nuggets. So. Um, it would be more eff effective to pick it up with Silk Touch and then smelt it in a uh, furnace. Um, you know, because, you know, the nuggets, you're not going to get as many nuggets as to, enough nuggets to convert into ingots. So it's just uh, more resource efficient to convert the uh, never gold into uh, n gold ingots in a furnace. Now, never quartz here. Now this may not be true forever, and I do hope they do change this at some point, uh, in some way, because this is very annoying, but if you mine Never Quartz or with a Fortune Pickaxe, uh, you uh, can craft it into Never Quartz blocks, but the problem is, you can't craft it back out of quartz blocks. You can't get qu the quartz back out of the quartz blocks. They are now, th that quartz is now permanently 
in these quartz blocks. Unlike, say, more iron, which I can just craft back into the more oh, iron. And so this basically means that if you want to store, if you want the nether quartz itself and not the nether quartz blocks, and you're just fortuning up all of this, that's going to be less space efficient than just uh, uh, silk touching at the ore block and then mining it up when you need the um, nether quartz itself. So I would say that, yeah, in the nether, you should always use a silk touch pick because uh, um, it's more efficient for the gold ore and it's more effective at storing uh, uh, never quartz. You may want to bring some uh, bottles of enchanting with you just so you can mend it uh, when you're in the nether because, um, you know, silk touch pickaxes won't get any exp from mining uh, uh, ores, which is fair to say, we, which is pretty fair because um, if it wasn't iron value, you could just mine all your ores with silk touch and get infinite free exp. Um, but yeah, uh, but in the other world, uh, I'd say more times than not, it's more efficient to use the fortune free pickaxe. Um, to and you're gonna have to bring yourself a crafting table with you, and just come and just craft all the ores into their block form. So like diamonds and diamond blocks, all over into coal blocks, lapis into lapis blocks, redstone into redstone blocks, emeralds into emerald blocks. I don't think you find that many emeralds. And uh, raw iron into and raw gold and raw copper into uh, a block of wall, wall, whatever they are. Um, yeah, like I said, it never zip touch all the time. Um, there's also a couple of other pros and cons that's not all related. Like um, when you're mining deep slate, um, if you're using silk touch, you'll get the deep slate itself. If you're using fortune or non silk. Or unenchanted pickaxes, you're going to get uh, a cobbled deep slate. Now, cobbled deep slate, it can be used to craft the deep slate stuff. You know, deep slate stairs, bricks, and all that. Um, but the regular deep slate cannot, which is the opposite to the uh, cob, which is opposite to stone and cobblestone. So that, uh, so if you're using silk touch on deep slate, then you're going to be um, remining up a lot of deep slate. To get converted, get converted into cobble deep slate, which is yeah not fun. Um, but there is also something to be said about like um, Matt, if you're on the stone layer, you're using your silk touch pickaxe to mine up the stone, so you can like use it to craft like stone bricks and all that. If you're using it for building um, or cobblestone, if you if you're going to be using a lot of dispensers and droppers and observer observers, um, so I do I, w I would say that fortune does have the edge over silk touch in the other world, but in the nether, silk touch reigns supreme because there's literally no reason to use fortune. Like it, uh, even if you want to go with like a uh, glowstone block blocks, give happy. Glow June sixty four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mine over fortune three. You're only going to get eight blocks out of it, and with two remainder. So that's a loss of one and a half blocks. Yeah, yeah. So fortune is going to be really worth unless you need glowstone dust and not the glowstone block itself, which obviously you can get with silk touch. And even then, uh, it's better to use silk touch on a glowstone block than never. Yeah, if especially if you like a. Uh, Pitched up on a little uh, ledge um, above lava because then you just need to pick up the one glowstone block and not the multiple glowstone dust at drop out, which 
Um, if you're getting the multiple glowstone dust, then that is a higher chance of the glowstone dust going into the lava rather than the glowstone block. Um, I believe because I've I have had times with um, fortune where I've just had like glowstone dust drop into lava. Where with silk touch, I don't usually have the um, glowstone blocks drop into lava. Or maybe back then I was just being an idiot and I didn't spill out the platform enough. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I do think um, Mojang and Minecraft have done a decent job at actually balancing out Fortune and the, the Silk Touch because, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a blocks that you can only get with Silk Touch, but, you know, Fortune is more efficient for the, for mining, unless you're in the nether, so I think... They are fairly well balanced. Yeah. So, long story short, uh, if you're going mining in the Nether, use the Silk Touch pickaxe. If you're going mining in the Overworld, use the Nether. Uh, for, use the Fortune pickaxe. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did all and find this find the, the, this video. Uh, uh, informative and uh, fun and I hope to see you guys in the next video or live stream I do and bye bye